Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve the first part of question number 11. And in this question, you are given a quadrilateral which is ABCD, where AD, which is this side, is equal to this, which is BC, and PQRSR given as the midpoint of AB, BD, CD, and AC respectively. We have to prove that. PQRS which is PQRS is a rhombus and we know that rhombus is a four sided figure whose all sides are equal and you can also prove that their opposite sides are parallel but if you are able to prove that all four sides are equal then clearly that would be a rhombus to do so first of all what I have to do is I have to use midpoint theorem and I am taking this triangle which is ACD. I am making here this is A, this is D, and this is C. And S is given the midpoint of AC, this is S, and R is given the midpoint of DC. And if I join these two midpoints, so according to midpoint theorem, if I join the midpoints of two sides in a triangle, so this line must be parallel to this and this line must be half of this. Similarly, I can prove in triangle D, C, uh, this is B and this is C. In triangle, this one, D, B, C. In this, this Q point is given the midpoint of DB and R is given the midpoint of DC. So again if I join the midpoint, so clearly this should be half of this and this should be parallel to this. So this is how I can prove that this is parallel to this and this is parallel to this and this is half of this and again this is half of this and then on, then on I can prove that PQR is a rhombus first of all I am writing it how much I have told you then we will proceed further that in triangle first of all ACD S and R are the midpoints so clearly if I join SR so SR must be equals to half of DA and SR must be parallel to DA so this is our first equation similarly in triangle the second triangle is BDC which is BDC here Q and R are the midpoints Q and R are the midpoints so clearly according to midpoint theorem this is because midpoint theorem so according to midpoint theorem if I join the midpoints in any triangle so that here QR should be half of DA so that should be half of BC this should be half of BC and QR must be parallel to BC here QR which is this QR this QR must be parallel to this BC and this QR must be half of this BC this is because I am joining the midpoint which is Q and R so this is our second equation now it is given to you that AD is equals to BC so AD is equals to BC is given to you that these two sides are equal so if I see these two equations if AD this is AD and this is BC so if AD and BC are equal so clearly their right hand side are equal so clearly their right hand side are also equal so I can say comparing equation first and second I can conclude that SR should be equals to QR this is our third equation 
So I have concluded that this line, which is SR, is equal to Q uh, RQ. Then I am going to prove that SP is equal to QP. For that, I have to take this triangle. This is A B D. A B D P and Q are the midpoints. So in triangle ADB, if I join these two midpoints, so this should be parallel to this third line, and this should be half of this third line. So in triangle, in triangle, this is A B D. This is this one, and P and Q are the midpoints. P and Q are the midpoints. So clearly, PQ must be equal to half of DA, and PQ must be parallel to DA. This is our fourth equation. Similarly. In triangle. Now let's see in triangle this, which is ABC. In triangle ABC, P and S are the midpoints. I'm drawing it here. This is A. This is B. This is C. And P is the midpoint of AB, and S is the midpoint of this AC. This is given to you. And if I join these two midpoints. So clearly, this must be parallel to this third side, and this must be half of this third side. So, in triangle, this is A B C. In triangle A B C, S and P are the midpoints. So clearly, S P must be equal to half of this is B C, and S P must be parallel to B C. This is our fifth equation. Now, comparing this fourth and fifth, again AD is equal to BC is given to you. So this AD and BC is equal. So clearly, right hand sides are equal. So left hand side must also be equal. So comparing first and two, again I can conclude that PQ is equal to SP. So this is our This is what this was our fifth, and this is our sixth equation. Now I have proved that SR is equal to QR and PQ is equal to SP. So in triangle, in this quadrilateral, I have proved that this SR is equal to QR. That that is the first equation, and I have proved that SP is equal to PQ. This the last one. So now these two sides are equal. And these two sides are equal. Now I have to prove that this side and this side are equal. For that, what I what can I do is I can compare this first and this fourth equation. For in the first equation and in the fourth equation, this half DA and half DA are equal means right hand side are equal. So clearly SR must be equal to PQ. So comparing. Comparing equation first and fourth, because the right hand side are equal, so clearly left hand side are must also be equal, which are S R is equal to P Q. So comparing first and fourth, I can conclude that S R is equal to P Q, and because S R is equal to Q R, so this would be equal to Q R, and P Q is equal to S P, so this would be equal to S P. So in the quadrilateral. S P Q R, all sides are equal, so clearly this should be a rhombus. So this is how you can solve this first part. Thank you.